Hello, my name is Aaron Hathaway. I am a tech services manager with the Turf and Ornamental Group with New Farm. I want to introduce you to our newest herbicide, All Star. You've heard me speak about herbicides before. You know how important pyridines can be in these herbicide mixes. If you look at some of our relatively newer herbicides in our portfolio, uh, many of them contain a pyridine. All Star is no different. It contains a pyridine and triclopyr. And I bring that up because pyridines are really important for broad spectrum broadleaf herbicides. All Star is definitely more than just a broadleaf herbicide, but triclopyr is the piece that really differentiates it and gives it activity on a lot of the, the weeds that we've deemed difficult to control. All Star is one of a few all-in-one herbicides out there, just meaning that it controls more than just broadleaves. It controls other types of weeds as well. There are a few things that set it apart. I already mentioned that it contains triclopyr. There's one other on the market that contains dicamba instead of triclopyr, so we kind of flip-flop those two active ingredients. Triclopyr is going to really help on those tough-to-control weeds. It contains a full load of 2,4-D, which is a big help on some of the common especially tap-rooted weeds like dandelion, like plantain. Um, the rate structure, as you'll see below this chart, is mainly eight pints per acre. That's going to be the common rate that you're going to use in cool season turf. Once you move to warm season turf, that rate's going to go down a little bit. And then on bent grass, um, because of the active ingredients in this product, you're going to go down and rate even a little bit more. This is an amine formulation. Um, which makes sense since this is a product you're going to use in the summer, right? You don't want something that's going to volatilize too readily. And so you're going to see crabgrass and nut sedge in the summertime. And so this is the, the time of year you're going to spray a product like All Star the most. It does contain a full rate of quinclorac for good control of, of crabgrass. And then it has a higher relative loading of sulfentrazone than many of the low sulfentrazone loaded products that are out there. And there are many of them. Um, it's that sulfentrazone is going to add a little bit of speed to this product. So you do get a little bit faster visual result uh, versus some of the common broadleaf herbicides out there. And then, as I mentioned, triclopyr versus dicamba when you're comparing this with something like Q4. And then one difference on the bottom is that you can apply this product in 10 gallons of spray volume per acre um, at a minimum. So that is one difference on the label. As I mentioned, All Star is an all-in-one herbicide. It's going to be a great choice to have in a backpack on the truck to go after any weed that you might find, especially in the cool season market, but also to place in that summer-timed application for broadleaf weed control, crabgrass control, nut sedge control, many of the weeds that you're going to find in the middle of the summer. So it does cont contain quinclorac for that crabgrass control, sulfentrazone for nut sedge, Quinclorac is also a great tank mix partner with 2,4-D and triclopyr because it helps on a lot of the broad leaves that you're going to find out there. And then triclopyr is going to target some of those tough to control broadleaf weeds, especially ground ivy, wild violet, those that have lots of vegetative parts and you need that herbicide to move through that entire plant. The next few slides are going to compare All Star out in the field up against some of its competitors. And what you're looking at here is crabgrass control. This is percent control, so a taller bar equals better control. You see All Star providing 90% control of crabgrass. Q4 plus, although not statistically different, is just above 70. And then Q-ball, which is quinclorac, plus methylated seed oil, all on its own, providing the best control of crabgrass, although not statistically different from All Star. One difference here is this addition of MSO. Uh, methylated seed oil is a surfactant. It can really help control of crabgrass, especially at this tough one to three tiller stage. Crabgrass tends to be easier to control when it's very young or when it's very big, that gorilla sized stage with many, many tillers. But at this adolescent stage of one to three tillers, it can be tough to control. The MSO that you can add to cue ball can really help that control. We don't recommend adding MSO to All Star, and I know it's not recommended to add it to Q4 Plus either. Adding MSO to any product that contains sulfentrazone can possibly cause injury to the desirable turf. So that, that tank mix is not usually recommended. And so it's important to note here, All Star and Q4 Plus have the same amount of quinclorac that you're seeing in that cue ball 
application, but it doesn't have the MSO, so you don't get that help from the MSO. So all that to say that using All Star, especially when crabgrass is less mature or using it later in the season, you're gonna get better overall crabgrass control, but you are seeing it here at a very tough timing for crabgrass doing a commendable job. In this trial, you're looking at yellow nut sedge control. This was done in Tennessee. Application timing was May 17th, back in 2023. There's a little bit of separation between these treatments. Sublime not doing as good a job as any of the other treatments here. Q4 plus above that. And then the nice thing about All Star is it cont contains sulfentrazone, which is really doing the heavy lifting for yellow nut sedge control. And it contains the same loading as Q4 plus but it also contains triclopyr, which actually helps a little bit on yellow nut sedge. So All Star in this particular trial, again, doing a commendable job on a tough to control weed in yellow nut sedge. Moving on to broadleaf weed control, we're looking specifically at dandelion control and white clover control. This is percent control again, so a taller bar means better control of that particular weed. The green bars are dandelion, the orange bars are white clover. This was done at Wisconsin. Again, the timing is in the middle of the summer, so treatments were applied on June 15th, and this is 42 days after. So more than a month after that application, we're looking at still percent control. And we're comparing All Star Q4 Plus and Sublime to some crabgrass specialists. So Q-Ball on its own and Pilex on its own, I wouldn't normally expect to do as well on broadleaves as any of these other broadleaf weeds out there. You see All Star doing a great job, providing great control of both of these weeds. And so again, this all around herbicide, getting great control of crabgrass, yellow nut sedge, and we're seeing it provide really good control of some of the most common weeds you're gonna find in the cool season market in dandelion and white clover. And this is kind of where the rubber meets the road. We're looking at a more difficult to control broadleaf weed in ground ivy. Ground ivy has all those stolons full of sugars. And so getting a herbicide to move through this plant and get control of the entire stand of ground ivy can be difficult. And so you're looking at All Star versus something like Speed Zone EW versus a, a three way and triplet SF. And you're seeing All Star getting close to 95% control. That's the full labeled rate in eight pints. It's the recommended rate in cool season turf. But providing really good control of ground ivy. It's that triclopyr um, playing the key part in this control. I definitely hear from lawn care operators that wild violet is the most difficult weed, at least broadleaf weed to control out there. And so of course, we've got to show you some wild violet control. This is one application on August 26th. This was done in Ohio. Again, the eight pint per acre rate, that's the recommended rate of All Star, and we're just comparing it to Q4 plus. A taller bar means that it controlled wild violet better, and you're looking all the way up to 28 days after application, and you see the highest All Star gets is nearly to 80% control. If you've ever tried to control wild violet, that's, that's good control. Typically, you need two applications, but this is just a single app providing really good control of, of wild violet in this particular situation. Again, it's that triclopyr doing uh, a lot of the heavy lifting, but 2,4-D and quinclorac are helping as well. Here's a picture of that wild violet control in Ohio, Q4 on the left and All Star on the right. All Star doing a great job cleaning up all the weeds in this particular trial. All Star is available to you today. We're excited to offer it to you. It's available in smaller volume, 64 fluid ounces, which is a Tip and measure, two and a half gallon jugs, of course, and 30 gallon drums. I choose All Star Herbicide. It truly is going to be that ultimate product that brings superior spectrum and control of almost any weed you're gonna encounter. It contains a full load of 2,4-D, which brings more consistent control of some of those really common weeds in dandelion, plantain, quinclorac, while it's helping on broadleaf weeds. It's specifically targeting, targeting crabgrass. Triclopyr is helping on those really tough to control perennial weeds, weeds like wild violet and ground ivy, but it's also helping on those tough summer annuals like spurge. And then sulfentrazone is targeting nut sedge, but also adding a little speed 
where you're going to see visual results from this product faster than you would from your typical herbicide. Thank you.